Hi, fire signs and earth signs. This is if you're in a relationship, living together, or dating. Okay? Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Once again, this is fire signs and earth signs in a relationship. Um, please read the description box. I always leave a message, even if it's something simple or major, it's in the box. Um, you could have fire and earth signs. You could have it in your birth chart. Sun, Moon, or Risings, or you could be dating someone that is a fire or earth sign, okay? So let's get on with the first card. You have the devil is facing me and the ten of swords is facing me. So the devil, fire and earth signs, you guys got a lot of anger going on in this relationship, a lot of violence, uh, intimidation in this relationship, and sometimes death by violence. Um... You, you have evil thoughts of this relationship or you're doing some type of magic. So there's something not going right in this relationship. Um, since it's facing me, this is a time of violence and above uh, physical, sexual, mental, or substance abuse. Um, and I just did a card on this with somebody with another reading for another sign, a Scorpio, I believe. Uh, there's thoughts of uh, self-destruction and regrets. Uh, there's people who seek the power and freedom of others and bad person, personal evil intent. So this is not good. <laughs> Fire signs and earth signs. Um, some of this is not good. Somebody is very angry in this relationship. Um, somebody is setting somebody off in this relationship. And you know that you're doing it. You know you're pissing this person off. You know that you're making this person mad. Um That's what causes the anger. That's what causes the violence. Um, and that's what causes self-destruction. Okay? Fire signs and on um, earth signs. Um, watch your temper. Watch the violence in this relationship. Watch your thoughts. Watch your power in this relationship. Okay? Um, and then you've got the Ten of Swords, which is uh, facing me. Um, this is a card of emotional isolation. So some of you are hiding your emotional side. Um, weariness, sometimes depression. Some of you are very, very depressed. Um, there's physical pain uh, that comes along with this depression. And you're very overwhelmed within this relationship, fire and earth signs. Um, but there's a lot of bitter disappointment at the outcome of this relationship. Uh, there's mental and physical pain. It's the present a feeling of desperation. So you guys gotta you guys gotta watch this because as you see, this person is very depressed in pain. So in this relationship, I feel like there's a lot of dishonesty. Uh, there's pain. There there could be violence. There is violence. Um, there's sorrow in this relationship. Somebody's hiding their emotions of how they truly feel, and it's killing them with all these daggers because they really want to say how they truly, truly feel, but they can't or they won't. There could be arguing and fighting in this relationship. Um, a lot of disappointment. You're feeling desperate. You're feeling trapped because you can't truly say how you feel. Okay? This is not going to resonate with everybody. It's only going to resonate with some. Some of you are hiding emotionally. You do not want to let your true feelings out. And this causes depression. Since you are with a person that you can't truly feel free with or truly express yourself because you don't like, they could be an artistic, a person that you're dealing with yourself or another person that is an artistic. When you say something to them, they always turn the shit around on you like they never do shit. That's what causes the violence. That's what causes the aggravation and the temper. Excuse me, because with the Ten of Swords, you see what the devil is doing. And it's causing you grief. It's causing you a mental breakdown. And the devil in this relationship, narcissistic fucking behavior, doesn't want to admit what they're doing. It's hard to deal with the narcissistic person because they flip the switch. They flip every fucking thing on you. Okay? So if you're with an artistic person... And this relationship is going downhill, or you feel isolated, or you can't be your true self, 
or you're just crying all the time, you're in pain, this is leading to physical pain, then get the fuck out. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, fire signs and water signs. I mean, our earth signs. Because I just did fire and I just did water. So check that out too if you have those in your chart. But um, this is self-destruction. Um, you're not going to get anywhere if you're feeling this way in a relationship. I will also tell you too if you have... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, please, fire signs, check out the uh, Cancer in the Taurus video. And the Taurus and Cancer. Because uh, some of you can relate to these cards, the Devil and the Ten of Swords with those other readings. Okay? Because it all combines together if you have all this shit in your chart. Okay? I hate to see these things in a relationship, but it is what it is. Either you stay and work it out or you get out. And let this bullshit go. I'm very outspoken. Uh, I do cuss. I do swear in my videos. This is not for kids. I do mark that in my studio app. Um, if somehow they get into your account, that's your problem. It has nothing to do with me. This is 18 and over. I wish it was like 21 and over. Um, but it's not. But check your relationship. Check yourself. Um, see, can you handle this relationship? Is it too much of emotional burden? Okay. So this is Born with a Veil. Uh, God bless, and I wish you the best.